Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on easily adding in Django admin extra buttons to our Django models which can be viewable in the Django admin itself. So let's go ahead and take a look. So as we can see here we have a screenshot sample here of various buttons that are added in to a particular model but what I can do is I can actually go ahead and make this a bit larger. As you can see here we have a few sample buttons, refresh, custom pass, no response, confirm and a sample button there. So I'm just going to show you how you can integrate this. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now, as always, what you need to do is ensure that you have a Django project that you want to apply this to. So I have one here active. So I'm currently on the admin page here for the moment, but you need to make sure that you have a Django project you want to apply this to and that you also have a Django app. So as you can see, I have a Django app here called Web App. And I also have a model here called customer. So you need to also have a sample model because the way that these extra buttons work is they attach to a particular model. So you need to make sure that you have that in place before you continue with this video tutorial. All right. So assuming you've got that all into place, let's go ahead and continue. Okay. Now the first thing that we need to do is install this library. So Django admin extra button. So I want to copy that. Head on over to my terminal. I'll stop my server and I'm just going to make this a bit larger. And you just want to say pip install Django admin extra buttons. That's the first thing you want to do. Okay, so let's give it a moment. And there we go, it has been installed. Now we need to set up the installed app. So I'm going to head on over to my settings.py file. So I'm going to head on to settings.py and we can scroll to installed apps. And all you want to do is add in the following, which is going to be admin underscore extra underscore buttons. And then you just want to add that comma at the end. So make sure that you've added this into place to register that particular library or app. All right, so let's head on back. And what I'm going to do now is just run my server just to make sure that there aren't any issues or problems, just to make sure everything was connected correctly. And there we go. Okay, perfect. So we've got that set up. Now, if we scroll down here, we can see that we are given the opportunity to use four decorators. So we can see we have the button, we have link, and we have view, and we have choice. Now, the ones that I specifically have been um, working with or gearing towards have been button and link. So these are the ones that I've managed to get going correctly. Now, of course, there's a lot to experiment and work on. So I'd recommend you go ahead and do your own due diligence as well um, as we work through this tutorial. And we can see here we have a bit of a code snippet guide here on how to use it. So as we can see, it's going to import various functions and modules into place here. It's then going to require us to create a custom um, admin class here. So instead of just saying admin.register and then the model name, we're registering a class. And you can see here that we have the following decorators attached. So here we have button and we can see that's for refresh. We have another button here and that is for confirm. And you can see here that it adds in the pass keyword. And the reason for that, of course, is to ensure that we can use this button without performing an action. So what you can do is you can add in your own code here to put to actually add in some functionality for what you want to occur. Then we have a link here, which is a custom link that you can add in like a link button to go somewhere. And then we have the views here as well. Okay, so I'm going to test this from the top here. So I'm going to highlight everything that is on this page here up to link, not to the view. So just up to the link here. Okay, so these are the ones that I've managed to integrate nicely into the application. So what we can do is go ahead and copy all of that. And we can then head on over to our application. And let's go to web app or in my case web app, or your Django app. Then we can go to admin.py and make sure that you have a model that you want to use. So here I have from.models import uh, customer. So I have that already set. Now I'm just going to remove this register tag for the time being. 
can remove this. And then all I'm going to do here uh, is actually, let me move that back. And I'm just going to paste everything in that I had before. And I'm just going to make an adjustment here. So here I already have from django.contrib import admin. So I can go ahead and remove that top line. There we go. And let's go ahead and see what we have. So from admin extra buttons.api, we are importing the extra buttons uh, mixin. So we're going to inherit that class here. And we want to inherit, of course, a button, a confirm action, a link, and a view. Okay, so that is what we are using here. If we were to scroll down, we're using that as decorators here that we're attaching here for a set functionality. So in this case, we're using the link decorator and the button decorator is what we are using here. Okay, and under the utilities or utils here, we're importing a HTTP response redirect to buffer. So that's just a sample here that we are just doing just to test out the refresh button that we have here in place. Then of course we're importing the default HTTP response and JSON response functions, which we which we can utilize just for some testing. Importing admin, and then of course here at the bottom here, these are pertaining to the view that we went ahead and set up. However, we don't actually need this because we're not working with the view, so we can just take that out. So we can just keep it a little bit simpler. So all that's going on on here is we are. We are working with a, a custom um, admin here that we are working with that's going to pass through the extra buttons mix in here class to give us functionality to our buttons. And of course, we have set in admin.model admin to define that this is a custom class itself. Now, as you can see here at the top, we I'm importing my customer model. So what I'm going to want to do now is to ensure that I actually register this. So that is the next thing that we're going to want to do. Now, since this is a, a custom model class, it's going to work differently. So here at the end of this class here, what you can do right at the bottom is you can just say admin.site.register and within for instance, you're going to pass two things. The first, your actual model. So in this case here, I have customer. So I'm going to say customer and add in um, then the name of the model class. So in our case here, this is called my model admin. So I'm gonna copy that and attach that just after that. So now we've got this registered according. So the customer model is attached to this custom class. Okay. Okay, so we have a refresh button here and we also have a confirm button and we also have a custom link. Now this link can be any sort of pass you could say. However, we do need to make a few adjustments. So first of all, the change list here, we need to set that to true. Here we go. And we need to change this labeling here to be a little bit um, cleaner. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove everything that we have here. And we want to keep it rather simple. So we want to define what we want to set the button label to be. So here I'm going to say button dot label equals. And here, for example, I'm going to say, let's say Django docs. And then I'm going to say the href. So I'm going to say button dot href equals. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and add in the Django documentation here, for example. So what I can do is head on back. And what I'll do is I'll actually just use this as a simple chest for now. And I'll paste that in so we can just go ahead and say, we can say Django docs on, or I can just say extra buttons on admin, or extra buttons, extra button docs. Okay. So you can just decide what you want to say. Originally it was Google, but I want it to be a little bit different so you can get the idea better. So we now have that link here. That's of course going to be styled as a button. So you can see here the attributes in terms of the background color, it's using a default sort of style. However, if you see here for the confirm button, it's adding in that hex color to the confirm button. And of course the hex color here for the refresh button, but we'll see that in, in a moment. But just make sure you've added in the following as I have. And now what we need to do is we need to head on over to our Django admin. So you can just go and put in 
um, localhost, and then you can just put in forward slash uh, admin. And now we need to create a soup user. So if you haven't got a soup user, you can just create one now as me. So I'm gonna say python manage.py create super user. Okay. And here I'm just going to say on oh, no, one, skip, add in a password. And there we go. All right, and now we can just go ahead and run our server. Okay. All right, now let's go ahead and enter in our credentials. All right, so what we can do now is log in and go to our customer model. And we can see a touch to it now. We now have our custom button. So look how nice that looks. So we have refresh, confirm, and we have extra button docs. Okay, so as we can see now, that correlates to the button that we have here to refresh. And we have confirm. And we have this link here, which of course the label says extra button docs, and that's the link it takes us to. Now, there isn't really much functionality here in place already on the default here. So all this button here, refresh, is just going to, um, well, here it's just going to refresh the page. So essentially, if I were to click on refresh, okay, it's just going to go ahead and instantiate the message here saying refresh called and just refresh our page. Very simple. We then, of course, have confirm, and that's going to take you to a confirm page here as you can see in the following URL. So there isn't a particular action here because we there isn't actually, how can I say, some logic behind it here. So that's why we have this pass um, keyword here to just allow us to click on this button without any errors or anything, without any actual code functionality. But you can add in your own actions here to this button if you want something to occur, and you can set it up accordingly here. So that is something that you can also do. So that is the confirm button here. Then we also have a link here. Now with the link here, for example, in our case here, um, it was on the default set to be um, taking us to Google, but I just modified it slightly with the function. And I just set the label to extra button docs. And I set the link here to the documentation right here that we have. So if I were to close this and say extra button docs, it's gonna open in a new tab, a page here that's going to take me straight to that documentation. Now, of course, you can change this for anything that you desire. So for example, here, I'm just going to now set this to um, say, go to Google. And let me change this here. So HTTPS, colon forward slash forward slash www.google.com. And let that reload. And I'm going to explicitly reload it just to make sure that that takes effect. Okay, and we can say go to Google. And there we go, it takes us straight there. So you can see here that we can really get creative and add what we wish here. So this is specifically styled as a link. All right, now let's see if I were to change the um, color here of the refresh button. So we can see we've got that sort of hex code um, in place here. And let's say I wanted to change the background color and let's say I put this to 22FF88. Okay, we can see it's slightly changing that color. And there we go, we can see it changes it completely there. And let me change the color here to white. There we go. It sends the colors to white here. So the color here that you have here is set to the full color or the text color. And then the background color is of course set to the background color. So we can see you will adjust that for the refresh and the confirm button um, as you so desire. Okay, but we can see that's all into place. All right, so that is a simple way of how you can easily add in your Django extra buttons to your Django admin. And remember, it needs to be binded to a particular model that you have. Okay, so just something very important to keep in mind. Right, now one thing I also wanna address, which you're probably wondering, is you'll see here it has a warning that says admin extra buttons.perm, 
my model admin dot refresh are checking for a non-existing permission demo dot add underscore demo model one. So that is of course something that doesn't exist. And that of course comes with the default documentation on said source code here. But what you can of course go ahead and do is you can go ahead and adjust this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move that here. And reload. And there we go. Okay, so that's not going to give us um, said warning anymore. So we can see that that is perfectly as it should be. All right, so that was just a permission that was added in just to ensure who gets permission to said thing. Of course, you can just look into more detail as you go on ahead. All right, guys, so that is it on how you can add in buttons. Now, of course, there is a lot of experimenting to do. So I'd encourage you just to take your own initiative, experiment with this um, base code here that we have with the button. So you now will be able to incorporate these um, buttons into your Django admin. All that you're going to want to do now is just experiment with it. And what I mean by that is, for example, add in some functionality here by the action for the confirm button change some text here. As you can see here for the refresh button, all we're doing is we are um, going to return a response redirect and refresh the page, but you can change what you would like to do and just add it in as you desire. And here also by the, by the link here, I also encourage you just to change things up a bit, see what you feel is useful. And of course you can just experiment from here on out. And I would really suggest using this as like a guideline or format for removing buttons, adding in some more buttons, etc., or links and just playing around with it. And depending on how you feel, add it to which model that you want it to be seen because you'll see this is added specifically to a particular model that we have here. All right, all right guys, so that's all for this video tutorial. And as always, thank you for the support and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.